Now we want to go to the accompanying claim that all other methods of proof are inferior. Let's look at that. All right. So let's set aside the lie of Euclid and let's go to the lie about proof that a particular method of proof has to be used, it is superior, and that Indian methods of proof, for example, are inferior. So let's uh, look at this class 9 text. Please read it carefully. I'm going over it again. I showed it to you earlier. By mathematics, this is in appendix, oh, no, in appendix 1, page 287. While mathematics was central, Maya, you, know, you have Iran, you have Egypt, India, China, there is no clear evidence that they use proof. There is no clear evidence. So Euclid will never say that. All right, they will say there is no clear evidence that they use proof. Total lie. All right, there are Indian methods of proof. And there is a systematic theory of proof which was used everywhere in India, including in mathematics. And this theory of proof existed from long before Greeks, real or imaginary. Not the 12th century concoction of Aristotle and not the historical Aristotle of Stagia. So Indian notions of proof are well documented. But what happens? Our mathematicians don't understand. I remember a conversation I had in the 1990s with a former mathematician in the Indian Statistical Institute. So, uh, you know, I told him uh, it is there in the Nyay Sutra of Gautam. He said, who Gautam? Gautam Buddha, not Gautam. So you have the Nyay Sutra of Gautam and this text is available online. Please uh, take a look at it. Uh, I don't know why it takes so long to load. Okay. So this is, uh, well, it's called Sacred Book of so the Hindus. And uh, this particular one is uh, translated by Satish Chandra Vidya Bhushan. So it's available online and you can take a look at it. What I want to say is, what does the Nyaya Sutra of Gautam say about proof? The second verse, I will show you the second verse. Simple, just one line. Complete theory of proof, proof is there in that one line. Pratyaksh, Anuman, Upman, Shabda, Pramanani, finished. So there are four means of proof. Pratyaksh, Anuman, Upman and Shabda. That is according to Nyaya. Not everybody accepts that, but that is what the Nyaya Sutra says. All right. So this is what the Nyaya Sutra says. And this is not found in math text because there is no proof which is specific to math. The one proof for science, one proof for math, one proof for religion, one proof for chemistry, one proof for physics won't do. You have one proof for all knowledge. What is true? It is not various shades of truth like this. Mathematical truth and physical truth and so on. All right. It also applies to religious belief. And let me show you examples of how this notion of proof was used in mathematics. So the first thing is Pratyaksh. What does Pratyaksh mean? The nice Sutra will explain this. It is sense perception. What is empirically manifest, what is in front of you is true. It's a means of proof. And uh, you see this, for example, in uh, Ganit 13, which is from Aryabhat, he's saying, the level of ground should be tested by means of water and verticality by means of a plumb. It's a pratyaksh. You see masons doing that. And therefore, your Westerners will say, oh, this is what masons do. This is not geometry. You'll see what this wonderful geometry is that they do. All right, so this, oh, uh, 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 I lost that. Let, let me go back to it. I was at Ganit 13. Well, there is also an Indian proof of the Pythagorean theorem. So many times people say it is not, there is no proof. Of course, there is from the Yukti Bhasha. So it's about uh, you take your, if you like, your uh, triangle. One side is called Koti, the other side is called Bhuj. So on the Koti, you erect a square. And then you put the square on the Bhuj at the corner in this manner. And then you measure out, it's all empirical process. You measure out the Bhuj from this corner. And then you cut it like that. And you cut it like this. And then this triangle, you rotate like that. 
and this triangle you rotate like that and then you can see that the square on this on the bhuj and the square on the koti is the same thing as the square on the diagonal very simple proof oh and uh, okay so why don't i get i'm not able to get back to it i have to go back to it again and again uh, okay so uh, but there was also reasoning the fact is there was very nasty caricature that uh, because you used empirical facts therefore you did not use reason i mean this is foolish science uses empirical facts does not mean that it uh, does not use reason but this is the kind of foolish nonsense that is talked about in indian mathematics okay so this is there in reasoning is there in goal 6 what is the reasoning the earth is round all right now how do you know that the earth is round i can't seem to get a back arrow okay so the globe of globe of the earth stands supportless in space it's a globe the goal right the very word is for earth is the goal is uh, goal okay so how do you know that the earth is round aryabhat says that in goal 6 He didn't take a spacecraft and go to uh, space and see the Earth from there. It was inferred by reasoning from what? From facts. What is the fact? Now I won't open it again. Uh, it's the simple thing is that tall trees cannot be seen. This is what Lull says. His disciple. Ships disappear over the horizon, so you are not able to see tall trees. And uh, well, let me show it to you just for this thing. so this is uh, you are not able to if the earth is flat you should be able to see tall trees which you are not able to see i have to close it and open it i don't know what's the problem i can't i don't have a back button all right so this is reasoning it's inference it is not perception all right this is also used and the text says people did not use reasoning total lie If you tell NCERT, oh yes, 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 something, something, they get some foolish answer. Now let's take upman. Upman means analogy because pratyaksh anuman upman shabd. So upman means analogy, and this is there in goal seven. I'm giving you examples of how this was used in mathematics. So the earth is like a kadam flower, which is a round flower. Okay, this is what Aryabhat says. so this is again uh, it's used in mathematics example of its use analogy can be used everywhere it is a form of knowledge accepted by nyay and then shabd is there in manav 10.10 which i have given to you as part of the reading list tad vidu vidu so it doesn't prove he says i don't know but the knowledgeable know and that is what they say i am only quoting what the knowledgeable say So if I ask you about say quantum field theory or something, you say I'm quoting what the knowledgeable say. That is exactly what you find in the Manav Shudras. Okay, so these are the four means of proof according to Nyai, which were used in India and were used in mathematics. Now uh, they say you did not use reasoning, but it is clear. I just want to ha hammer it home. anuman was used so reasoning was used it is an accepted means of proof and it is false that indians did not use reasoning or that they used reasoning in mathematics i'll come back to that okay so only the greeks were interested in doing this they had only the they only had but uh, indians did have a philosophical concept of proof which explicitly accepts reasoning and which lets us understand let us understand it 